Hey friends, welcome to Adulting with Esther, the show where we talk about the things that you don't learn in school. I'm your host, Esther, and today we're going to be talking about the seven things that you need to know to be able to sew by hand. If you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing down below so that you can get alerts when we post our videos on Tuesdays, and go ahead and hit that like button if you're getting value out of this video so far. If at any point during the video you wanna check out the description below, you'll be able to find links to things like the products I'm using here and links to other resources to help you out. Number five how to put a button on when it falls off. When you're sewing on a button, the first thing you need to recognize is that there is a front and a back to your button. The button front with the lip on it, or the edge, is the front. The smooth side is the back. Start off by inserting your needle through the back of your piece and pulling it up through the front. Insert your needle into one of the four corners from the back of your button. We'll attach the button by inserting the needle down back into the fabric into the hole that is diagonally across from the hole you just went in. Pull through, and we'll repeat this step four times total. Make sure you finish your fourth time by going through to the back. Now, come up through the button from the back by going into one of the other two empty holes. We're going to repeat the process we just did by crossing over diagonally into the other empty hole. Continue this diagonal stitch four times for this part of the button. Once you finish those four, make sure you end by continuing your needle through to the back of your project. Now we're gonna do something called the shank. Insert your needle from the back through to the front of the material, but not through the button itself. Keep your needle close to the stitches that are already there. Now, using your left hand to hold the button in place, wrap the string around the base of the button where your thread is four times total. After your fourth wrap around, insert the needle back into the material and come out through the back. This shank makes it easier for you to put the button through the hole in your clothing. Number six, how to patch a hole, like a big hole or something that's wearing out like the crotch of your jeans. On the fifth day of sewing, Esther gave to me one working button, a mended hole, shoulder link, pants, two basic stitches, and a brand new ability.